Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. It's Tuesday the 18th of August. Thanks again for watching today. Now, sorry to keep on and thanks to those of you who donated, but you know that weatherweb.net is kept free of charge by you keep coming back and using the site. Now, what we do once a year, because weatherweb.net is free of charge, we have a fundraising month and that's what we're doing at the moment. It's an aid of Macmillan Cancer Support. And what we ask you to do is donate um, for the fact that you've used the website free for the last year. So we'd love it if you could donate. If you can't afford to do so, then please do just spread the word about what we're doing and try and get others to donate to Macmillan. You can go to justgiving.com forward slash weatherweb and uh, donate whatever you like there. You can also donate by text and you just send a message to wweb99 and then the figure you want to donate, I've put £10 here, but uh, you can go up to £50. 50 would be superb and donate that to 70070. Now we've already smashed our target of £1,000 to be raised. Last year we raised just over £2,000 so it would be brilliant if we can increase this year's amount as well. So if you haven't given yet please go there now and please please do so. If you've uh, had anything to do with cancer at all, either yourself or through a relative, you'll know what a fantastic charity Macmillan is. When you get that first diagnosis, my goodness, you really don't know where to turn. And Macmillan is often the first place, so uh, they really do deserve all of our support. Um, OK, on with the weather. And the woods, because we are just past mid-month, it might be quite nice to take a look at where we are so far in the month. This from the Met Office website, England and Wales precipitation totals, running up to the 16th of August. The red line here is the uh, average, so that's where we should be for the time of year. The blue line that you see is the year so far, and you can see that we've picked up um, just 40% of the normal monthly rainfall so far uh, that will have increased because of the rain that's been occurring in the east today but we are currently below normal for the time of year we've got 31 millimeters so far and the average for the month in total is around 77 millimeters and just to compare with uh, this time last year that's where we were we'd already smashed through uh, the month's average rainfall this time last year we ended up with 154 percent and a total of 119 millimeters so we're much drier so far this month and uh, i think if we've got to put my money anywhere i'll be saying that we're perhaps heading for uh, a near to drier than normal uh, month overall through august I might regret that, hadn't I? Uh, but I think that's probably where we're going to end up, somewhere around 90% of normal rainfall, with today's having made quite a bit of difference. Scotland at uh, the moment is on 11, uh, sorry, not on 11 millimetres. Scotland so far is on 55 millimetres up to the 16th of the month, and the average for the month is 114, so that gives us a 48%. Uh, total for the month of course still a long way to go I think that one's going to end up nearer the 100% mark but way drier than it was this time last year uh, which was considerably wetter we'd already seen 140 millimeters in Northern Ireland we're about 36% of normal so far compared with last year's very very wet weather where we'd seen 100 millimeters plus as far as temperatures are concerned, currently we're running near enough smack on average for the central England temperature at a mean of 16.1 degrees. I think that's going to end up around about uh, plus 0.5 um, because of the warmer weather that may well kick in through the rest of this week and into next week as well. Perhaps 0.5 is pushing it a bit. Let's go 0.3 to 0.5. And talking of temperature, what a contrast this afternoon. Now, these are the temperatures at 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can see there, look, across eastern parts of the country, temperatures of just 12 to 15 degrees. Really, really cold. Out towards the west, though, it was warmer. We got uh, sort of 22 degrees, typically, typically around 19 to 21 around the coast. So west-east split, of course, we had the rain in the east of a miserable day, dry conditions out towards the west and some good spells of sunshine too. But a complete reversal on its way tomorrow. This is the 24 hour temperature change for 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning. And look at that, the, the uh, yellow, orange and pink colours showing conditions 
warmer across the eastern parts of the country, significantly warmer by 8 degrees in some places. Out towards the west, much cooler, 6 degrees below where we were today at the same time. So certainly is going to be a reversal, but also going to be feeling cold where it was warm today, warm where it was cold today. Now we've got some unsettled weather to come through the next few days into the weekend, particularly watching Saturday and Sunday for the threat of some heavy rain in there. More on that uh, tomorrow and also through our Twitter feed at WXWeb. Um, but back to the idea of the high pressure building during next week. This is the forecast for overnight going uh, into the 28th, or the 27th, 28th. This is from the ECMWF. It has a trough towards the west of the country, then this ridge off towards the east, surface high off towards the east as well, with this southwesterly flow, indicating um, some outbreaks of rain for southern and western areas, but the east and probably the southeast dry on this and warm as well. Now compare that with the GFS Ensemble for the same time, almost the same, trough out towards the west, ridge off towards the east, the high tending to have extended a little bit further westwards. So the best of the weather across most of eastern Scotland, most of England and also most of Wales. But with this southwesterly flow because of low pressure off towards the west, we'd have more unsettled conditions through western areas. And then the GEM, the Canadian, has trough out towards the west. It has the ridge off towards the east. A little bit different in that it tries to maintain the ridge across the country. Um, so it tries to keep pressure higher, but still the same sort of story. Western areas close to the trough, so perhaps slightly more unsettled. Central and eastern parts of the country, though, uh, closer to the ridge, and so better conditions there. So still this idea builds of higher pressure getting in, and um, perhaps not sitting straight over the top of the country, but certainly higher pressure trying to get in during the middle to latter stages of next week. But much toing and throwing from the GFS and the other operational models. This is the GFS for next Wednesday. You notice there, look, the big surface high towards the east, low towards the west. Southerly flow, warm weather, bits and pieces of rain across Scotland. It then wants to continue building the high through Friday the 28th. And that really bears more resemblance to the GEM than the ECMWF or the uh, GFS Ensemble. And the midnight run of the GFS was very keen on keeping the high in, although the uh, 6 o'clock run has uh, gone against that, tries to make it more unsettled through next weekend. I think we could be in for a three or a four day window probably from the middle part of next week. But what about further ahead from that? Well, let's just pick up on the CFS from, this is Tropical Tidbits. This is the five day mean of the 500 millibar flow from uh, this morning through to the 23rd. And there's our trough towards the west. Here's our ridge off towards the east. The red colour is showing the higher than normal heights. So you see this trough getting in. It's this that is responsible for the more unsettled conditions coming in. But notice the ridge persists out here. Day 6 to 10 running from the 23rd to the 28th. This ridge starts to become more of a feature. And in fact, by early August, 28th of August, sorry, early September, from the 28th of August through to the 2nd of September, the ridge well maintained here across Scandinavia, trying to build back into the UK, hinting at that higher pressure getting in and perhaps hanging around for several days. Not an extraordinary long amount of time, period of time, because by the uh, 2nd through to the 7th, day 16 to 20, we're back in more of a westerly flow. And the CFS seeing that continuing into the 21 to 25 day period. This is from the 7th of September through to the 12th of September. This southwesterly weak ridge off towards the east. So it tries to get the high in. And it's the sort of story I've been telling you that I thought that high would build in for a short period of time uh, before collapsing away heading into the uh, middle third of September. And that seems to be the way that the CFS wants to take us. Again, much of this following the analogies of the previous moderate El Nino events. OK, I shall leave you with that for now. But just a reminder for those of you who haven't contributed yet, who haven't made a donation to our Macmillan Cancer Support Appeal, you can do so now. You can do by text message and the money comes direct off your mobile phone or go to justgiving.com forward slash weatherwimper to make your donation. OK, thanks again for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.